All right, so today we're gonna to try to build the most expensive, impractical AM radio that you possibly can build using a Moku Lab and lock and amplifier. So the first thing to probably do is start looking for radio stations, and we don't really see anything right now because we don't have an antenna, so we'll try connecting this piece of piece of wire and see, uh, see what we get. Just shove this guy in here. Oh, look at that. Now when you look at the spectrum analyzer, you get all sorts of different signals. All right, let's track max here and see what has the strongest signal. Looks like 1210 kilohertz. All right, so let's go to switch instruments, go to lock and amplifier. All right, so we've got the Moku Lab lock and amplifier up now, and we're going to try to hear something out of this little tiny speaker that we've got going here. So the first thing that we're going to do is drop an oscilloscope probe here so we can actually see the inputs. And what would probably help is if I set this to one mega ohm impedance and AC coupled. And so now you can see that we can see a little bit of the, uh, the fluctuations on the input coming from this, what's being picked up by this makeshift wire antenna. Um, and then let's also drop an oscilloscope probe on the output so we can see what the output looks like. And we're gonna have to adjust some of the lock-in parameters here, especially the local oscillator. We're gonna to wanna to demodulate on that 1.21 megahertz. So let's do that. And then we're also gonna to wanna to turn the output on so that we can actually hear something out of the speaker. Huh, that's weird. So we're not really hearing much. So let's try to adjust this low pass filter frequency down a little bit. Set that to our theta mode. I probably need a bit of gain here. So let's, actually let's go for a lot of gain. Oh! Look at that, we got something. Oh, it's Christian radio. I'm listening to Christian Radio using the Moku Lab.